Hello and welcome back. As you can see, we're in the graffiti world, but in this episode I'm going to show you how to get to the, the monochrome world. We've already uh, dipped into the monochrome world a couple of times, just um, in small enclosed areas. No, this time I'm going to bring you to the monochrome world proper. So we're back at the mall, and if we now go down to the next escalator, we find this floor with just a manhole, so we might as well enter it. And naturally, we <laughs> we uh, climb out in a forest. And here there is a small frog, which is um, the second place for you to get the frog effect, but we already have that. So let's just bike through here. And yeah, just here you can see where we've got the stoplight effect. So that's uh, all very nice. And there is a jellyfish man. And when we talk to him... Teleport maze! Okay, so... You might... Uh, I'm just looking up uh, on my phone the map through this because it is enormous. You might remember the Saffron Gym from Pokemon uh, Blue, Yellow and Red. Uh, and all of the remakes. Um, the, there were nine rooms with a teleporter. In this maze, there are 27 rooms with teleporters. So three times the number of rooms and just uh, so many more connections but I am using uh, like I said a map of this area which is why I am confidently biking along this has a lot of dead ends and a lot of teleporters that just send you back to basically the beginning but we got through successfully in one go all thanks to the power of the fandom but yeah we're in a um, gated off area with a strange arrangement of boxes and in the middle one oh yeah i might have to put uh, a warning on the screen but yeah we're back in the famicom world yay with one of the lizard men and this is yet another part of the famicom world um and we're looking for a bunch of ruins over here mm. Those seem like a bunch of ruins. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And now, a difficult journey awaits us. We need to navigate uh, a dungeon. Uh, let's see. We need the lamp effect. There we are. Interesting walls, both very Yumuniki and very um, uh, Famicom world. Um, and here the path splits, so let's go, let's try down, I guess. <clears throat> what we're looking for is a room that is completely black and white. Now we've reached another level of the dungeon. Let's try going down over here hmm. um, sure a staircase near the water that always seems like the safest option doesn't it okay ah sadly ah sadly this is a dead end uh, ah. While I'm here, I might as well show you this. Whenever you enter this room, there is a 1 in 3 probability that um, this wall is special and would cause a glitch event. Let's see if I can trigger that before I get bored. So, let's try it a third time. In theory, 1 in 3 should do it, but of course, in... yeah. In theory it works, but in practice it doesn't. With That's always the case with probabilities. I'm rambling. Okay, I've gotten bored of this. Or I have been facing the wrong wall the, enti the entire time. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back upstairs and try to find the correct path. Nothing over here. Okay, so all of this is essentially one large dead end. 
That's good to know. I'm extremely confident I didn't come down this way. So, <laughs> yay! A changing labyrinth, always nice. Hmm. This, um, this is something. No idea what it is. Hang on. Oh no. I'm back in this same room. I don't know how much of this, how much of me rambling and then going silent for long stretches of time I'm gonna leave in. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're here. Dear viewers, welcome to the monochrome world. In fact, this part of the monochrome world is called the Underground Lagoon, I believe. Yeah, very uh, lagoony. Let's just bike up a stairwell. And welcome to the monochrome world. Oh, do you remember this? This is where we uh, left. Uh, where we exited that strange um, hole downstairs after um, getting the stoplight effect. Huh, nice. Good to see that that's back. And yeah, this is... Oh, nice, it's actually a viaduct. Cool. This is the road we were following. This tunnel doesn't do anything. This one doesn't, I should say, but other tunnels do do something. Let's see, where are we? Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this entire area, again, it's just a reward for exploring because there's nothing really here that contributes towards uh, getting the ending. Still, plenty of stuff to be found. Like this girl who just just walks around. Uh, but interesting fact about this girl is if you take the stoplight effect, use its special ability, she sprouts a whole bunch of limbs, there's a hole in her stomach, and you t can talk to her to engage a nice little rave party with a melting eye. So that's all very, very nice. Let's quickly get rid of that and bike away again. Bicycle. But yeah, all of this stuff in here in the uh, monochrome world, it's just spoils for the explorer. We have these guys who always um, walk backwards. Uh, which is nice, I suppose, if that's your thing. There is a second tunnel I'm looking for, which is arguably way more interesting. But I've forgotten where it is. Oh wait, this I can show you. Okay, so there are more ways that lead to the monochrome world. One of them is this gate. Uh, I don't know if you happen to see her in one of the previous episodes, but this um, apparition, which is in, a, in in fact, yes, which is in fact a girl who is normally invisible, um, you can talk to her and she sort of teleports you around the place in the uh, block world. Um, so that is also a way, based on random uh, chance, to get to the monochrome world, but you will have missed the uh, monochrome lagoon because you cannot return to that place from here. Now, yes, this tunnel, this is really, really interesting. So you drive through it, nothing happens, right? Well, you take a knife, stab this thing, and you walk through, and then you are teleported to a room filled with blackness where we can find a special NPC. And for that, I'm going to Activate the stoplight, just so that she doesn't get away. There she is. We can talk to her, but she just uh, stares at us and disappears, or teleports to somewhere else, and that's <laughs> all she does. Uh, in the fan theory, she is the sister of the, um, the older sister of the uh, girl who sprouted... No, wrong effect. <laughs> the older sister of the girl who sprouted extra limbs, etc. So we can leave this tunnel again, um, stab this NPC once more, but now we don't enter in the left side, but in the but from the right side, and we just get this strange landscape. You know, a couple of trees, a wild a wildfire, was very nice to see. 
and more of these strange red um, tentacle things, strings, I don't know. We have uh, an arm, a leg, they kind of twitch, as you can see, when you stab them. And this thing. Now notice, when we go inside, the decapitated head. You decapitate a person, you don't decapitate a head. Anyway, uh, the head of a woman begins flying around and it disappears again. And sometimes the head of a man appears and all, again, when you walk out, it flies away once more. Now, I'm going to leave um, this tunnel again because, <laughs> remember, this is all in quotation marks happening inside of that tunnel. There is one last place in the monochrome world I want to show you. And it's a dead end, so it's it's, it's a good place uh, to stop the exploration. Um, yes, this cube. You kind of talk to it, nothing really happens, but when you take a knife at it, oh, you have to do it from the front. Oh. Okay, I... Mm. I, I don't know what's going on. Ah, there we go. You're transported to this place. A whole bunch of eye people walking around. And that's all it does. You, you cannot escape from this place, as far as I know. Or perhaps you can. Hmm. The odds don't seem to be in our favor, do they? Well, I guess we're just kind of stuck here. But good thing about a dream is that you can wake up from them. So that is the monochrome world that I wanted to show you. There are in fact um, other places and NPCs and even events uh, hidden in the dream world. But I don't think I'm going to show those to you. You can go ahead and explore them yourself if you want, but I think I'm going to finally end this series. If you have been watching, thank you. That's not what I usually say. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. There we go. Goodbye.